if you guys enjoyed the wildly popular seat jackers or the front multi-mount panel, then you're also probably gonna enjoy the next product from Desert Does It, which is the quick release fire extinguisher mount, which I'll be installing today. You have chosen wisely. Okay guys, now I will be installing this in just a second. It is extremely straightforward, as you will see. This is everything that comes with the kit. You have the hardware to mount it to the front multi-mount panel, which you of course need. I think these are H4 bolts, four of those. You have of course the quick release pin. It comes with some foam backing right here just to protect your fire extinguisher of choice. I already installed that on here. And then these actual clamps right here that hold the fire extinguisher bolt to the side of the main plate right here with the Desert Desert logo right there. And there are two bolts right there you can see on either side to hold all of that together. This is the fire extinguisher I have usually mounted all over the truck. It's like 15, 20 bucks at I think Walmart. It does have a three inch base, which is a little too much for the clamps over here. Now Desert Desert has a list of a few fire extinguishers on the website. All of those were way more expensive than I wanted to pay, but don't worry, I found one right here. I'll put a link for this down in the description below and the product number or item number up on the screen now. I think it's first alert, just like this one. Yeah, there it is right there. I wanna say it's like two and seven eighths diameter on the bottom. I'll show you a comparison in just a second, but it is a perfect size for this. And it is just 15 to 20 bucks. So if you don't wanna go out and get like a 50 to $100 fire extinguisher, this is probably the way to go. And just a quick measurement of the extinguisher I said it will work. Yeah, it looks like it's right at like two and seven eighths. And here's the old one I had that I was hoping would work, but I found out the hard way would not. It looks like it comes in at three and a quarter, so not even close to getting that to fit. I didn't try it without the little pads right here, so that might work, but I didn't want to risk it like being loose or getting damaged or scratched and like clanging around driving me crazy. So let's go ahead and get these bad boys installed. If you guys are running any kind of floor mats, weather techs in my case, the back of the floor mat, this is where I guess this is gonna go behind your caps when you're sitting. It is gonna contact the bottom of the bracket a little bit. So I just, once I got the bracket into position where I know I wanna have it, I just marked, gave myself a little extra room on either side. The bracket's only four inches by maybe half inch or three quarters of an inch down. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Dremel and trim that out just so it's not in the way. And in case you did not know, when you use a Dremel on rubber or plastic like this, it sort of melts the edge and sort of makes it, I don't know, just sort of an eyesore, but this is gonna be behind my legs anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Most of these burrs sort of just pull right off, but you could always get like a razor blade and trim those down or some kind of file, but again, it's gonna be out of sight, not too worried about it. So now, just go ahead and get this in place with the new bracket and an extinguisher. Now I do have the seat slid back as far as it goes and I don't have the fire extinguisher on here yet. Just bear in mind how you want it oriented. Like obviously, in my opinion, it would make sense to have the pull pin towards the outside of the vehicle. So you can just pull that out and get the fire extinguisher off. So just make sure you don't mount that backwards. It's literally just four bolts holding this in. You can see you have your choice of mounting holes down here. And all of these grooves right here, you just run the bolt from the back, attach it into the, I guess, base over here and you're good to go. And as you can see with my WeatherTech floor mat, I went ahead and pre-cut that where I want it to mount here. But if you have like smaller stuff you want to mount, you can do that and figure it out. So mine's mounted more towards the inside of the truck. And with the mounting hardware in the back, I found it easier just to use the top and the middle row right there versus using the bottom on one of these just because it's a little harder to get to with the fabric. But it is nice and solid. Go ahead and get that extinguisher in there, show you the final product. And there you go. I will say it is a little difficult to get these clamps because they are pretty tight with the foam padding in there to get those into place to get the pin in. But I mean, that's what you want, nice and secure. So it's not gonna like shake around, risk damaging this or making noise to drive you crazy like it would me. And I still have plenty of space over here to mount something small. Obviously not something large enough that is gonna get in the way of actually pulling this pin out, but you guys get the idea. So go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think of the Desert Does It quick release fire extinguisher mount. All right, guys, short and sweet today. That will do it for this video. If you like this mod, go ahead and check out the Desert Desert website linked right below. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.